All right, what's going on? Welcome back. This is a vintage cube draft that we're gonna that we're gonna play right now. Hmm. Well, this is what's known as a fascinating but unexciting pack. I don't know what to take here. So I could take Hero of Bladehold and just be the mono white deck that that trounces us. Could also take a Skull Clamp and build around that. Fury is good. Breeding Pool is cool. Thief of Sanity is one of my favorite cube cards. So, all of those being said, I think I want to take Skull Clamp. I think the issue with Dream Halls for me is that you can't even cast Eldrazi with it, right? Like, you can't exile a colorless creature to cast a colorless creature for free, right? It's only colored spells because this was made in a time where colorless wasn't seen as as a color, like which it kind of is now. I'm going to take Snapcaster. Or Natural Order. Ooh, I like a Natural Order. Hmm, boy. Tricky, tricky. Let's go Natural Order. I, I think the green deck is probably more... Um, it fits better with the Skull Clamp than like a blue deck. I do like Augur of Autumn. I like a Preordain, but we just took a Natural Order, so I think we'll just take Augur of Autumn. This card's pretty good. There's an Ugin as well, in case we get a channel. And there's also a Gaia's Cradle, so let's take the Gaia's Cradle instead. Didn't see that at first. My mistake. This is very quiet right now. Is everybody alive? It's so hard to say. Oh, what up, Munsonster? Is my internet still alive? <laughs> Does Magic Online crash? Who knows? This pack sure has taken a while. Uh, okay, thank God. Whew, got a little worried there for a second. Well, that's fascinating. Damn it. <laughs> I'm such a sucker, man. I'm just going to take Kogla or Psalm Simulacrum. <coughs> yeah, Solemn seems worse, I guess. I think Kozla is probably a better, better thing, you know. Um, Sword of Feast and Famine, maybe this pack is. This pack is difficult because the only green card in here is crop rotation, and that's... I don't even know if I have that. Do I have that in my cube? I might. Let me check right this second. I do not. No. Wait. I do. <laughs> I do. I'll take the sword. Whatever. It's not gonna... I guess acidic slime. I. You know, I don't know if green was correct here, but... I guess there was no way to know. We just took a natural order, which is good, but. Oh, Woodfall Primus? Okay. So we're getting a lot of the bigger creatures here, it seems. And an Ulamog. 
do we ever, do we prepare for the channel and take the golden mug? So here's here's the thing. This goes with our natural order, which we have now. This goes with the cha with the channel, which we're inevitably going to get. So it's really tricky. We'll take Woodfall Primus. I do not like Birthing Pod, unfortunately. It's just too hard to finagle. Like it's so rare that your cube decks have any sort of reasonable curve like oh three drop into four drop into five drop into six drop so like i'll take it because it's the only card in this pack that i can even consider taking but it's just not a huge favorite of mine see look and now of course we have five six seven eight so now we feel silly but oh the auger came back wow that's pretty cool the only card we didn't get was noble hierarch in these packs i think one two three four five six seven eight nine eleven so four more picks Hmm. I wonder if we just take the Proving Ground for splashes. Eh. Mm, meh. Uh, <clears throat> Ignoble Hierarch is pretty good for us. There's also a Karn, which I do like a lot. <sighs> I bet this Mere Battlesphere comes back, though. I'm going to take the Ignoble Hierarch. I'm going to build around the card we do have, and not the card we don't have. God damn it. <laughs> God. <sighs> hey, Tony, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. All right. Well, channel it is. Now we got to start taking the big fat fats. The big colorless fat fats. Oh, let's build around the card we have. No, don't build around the channel. There it is. Next card. I guess it's just Hermit here. I don't think it's... Actually, it might be Survival. Survival is actually not bad when you have channel. Because you can literally just go search for like an Eldrazi or something. And it's got to be better than uh, Deranged Hermit. Mm, interesting. <clears throat> I do like a Sakura Tri Builder, but I feel like Hex Drinker is just absolutely OP. Oh, Watson's laying on my foot right now, and I had to move my foot, and I felt really bad about moving it. Like, Hex Drinker just wins games sometimes. And you can also natural order into it, so it's not even... <sighs> I like Bird of Paradise a lot, but I l actually really like this Vorin Clex. I think we're just taking Vorinclex here. I think it's really, really good. Um, Mind Slaver and Channel is a thing, but it's not a great thing. Because you're going to do it, what, on turn one and activate it, and then you get to play their turn one and then nothing else. But <clears throat> what do you think Hexes taste like? It's a good question. I'm going to take the Mind Slaver. But only because it's nothing really else in that pack. I'll take Derogatory Speaker for sure. Would love to, my dude. I like a questing beast. Sundering Titan also pretty good for our for our channel. Hmm. Is Questing Beast just better on its own? That's a good question. I would take Euro, but certain YouTube commenters think Euro isn't isn't uh, good enough for the vintage queue, apparently. Very strange, but you know. Everybody's got their opinions. They're like assholes, right? Uh, take Questing Beast. I think it's a... Oh, God, the Karn came back. <clears throat> Rewarded. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, I'll just take Agent of Treachery here. 
Oh, Drain's Tournament came back. Temple Garden? Sure, whatever. Eh, Blooming Marsh? Sure. Got a nice Black Splash. We got Blooming Marsh and Zeotor's Proving Ground and Ignoble Hierarch. Huntmaster? Sure. Better than Elvish Reclaimer for us. Mariah's Wake? Sure, now we can play it off the Temple Garden. Okay, well, we need a good amount of picks in this pack. Oh, with the glass pies? Makes sense. <laughs> huh. Fascinating. How much strength do we have? It's not a lot. It's actually none. It's actually zero strength. This pack is pretty rough too. There's nothing in here either. I guarantee you that Nissa will come back. You have my personal guarantee that we will see that Nissa again. There's also a demonic tutor in here. It's like even when I don't want to be Saltai, they're like, but the best cards are Saltai. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll take Demonic Tutor, I guess. I mean, there's nothing else in this pack. I'm not going to play Fiend Artisan. Maybe I would. You know what? We'll try Fiend Artisan. I feel good about it. Oh, Sylvan Library. Hmm. Can't argue with the Sylvan Library. I bet Plow Under comes back. We can also Atraxa. We can natural order into Atraxa as well. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. I think we got to take Sylvan Library, though. Oh, there it is. That's the queen herself. That's exactly what we wanted for our channel. I don't know if I remember the Nega Cube, to be honest with you. How are we going to cast that in? <laughs> oh, Stuart Ulm, my dude. If it isn't Krebby Jams himself. You know, we're still figuring it out. We're working it out right now, okay? It's, uh, it's a work in progress. Let's just say it was, it was, an, it was an ambitious pick. A little hasty. We're going to take this Courser of Crew Fix. And everything's just going to sort itself out, you know? Springleaf Druid would do it. Wow, you actually... I'm surprised you know your stuff here. Green green Sun Zenith. Are you... Are you any good? Or Pest Infestation? Green Sun's not bad with Channel. I guess it turns it into, like, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. We do have to have the three green instead of two green, so. Hmm. We have Kogel and Acidic Slime. I think we can take Green Sun and feel okay about it. Oh, I was hoping this was a blue source as well. I think we're just taking Tooth and Nail here. It's been a while since I've been able to take a Tooth and Nail in the cube. Because it hasn't been in here. Okay, I don't think we're actually playing Ancestral now, which makes me really sad. But I'm certainly not going to let anyone else play it either. Ooh, what if, what if the Springleaf Druid comes back? Hmm, wouldn't that be saucy? Is it Hydroid Crassus here? Yeah, I think Crassus is actually okay. Oh, the Nissa did come back. Look, you had my guarantee. I gave you the Frank guarantee. And there it is. There it is. Life, uh... Finds a way. Uh, now, now, eventually, you do plan to have dinosaurs on your on your dinosaur tour, right? Hello. 
Green Sun. I don't think the Spring Leaf is coming back. Oh, maybe it is. I think it's in the next pack. Oh, hold on. Oh, that's this is a way to cast it. This is a, this is the way. Oh, and it came back. Oh, we're doing it. <clears throat> oh, here it comes. Back in the deck. We did it. Also, Ren and Merle Breaker, lands you control. Tap for any color. That's all I've ever wanted. Oh, man. We did it. Beautiful. <laughs> One island, 15 forests, and a Gaia's Cradle. Oh, the Pest Infestation came back? Wow. And last pick, Selfless Spirit. I wonder if Skull Clamp is good enough here. Can you run 1.5 islands? That feels better. It's a digital product. It should be possible. This is true. I agree with you. Um, I don't know what the Magic Online team has been doing, but they clearly have not been implementing half, half lands. And I think everyone loses because of that. So is Skull Clamp coming out? Could be good. I think we're taking Plow Under out. <clears throat> I think we're taking Survival out. This is 23. That feels good. Unfortunately, we only have Karn and Emrakul and a Green Sun for Channel. Is that good enough? Wonder how many there are. How many, how many what there are? How many 1.5 islands? Half lands will be in an unset for sure. This costs one and a half blue mana. Oh god, I have a half red mana left over, but not a half blue mana. What did I take Questing Beast over? Was it Karn? And then I got the Karn back anyway? No, I think it was Sundering Titan. That's what it was. It's really funny how you can recall stuff like that. Like, it was one pack out of three, and it was a series of X number of cards. And you remember two of the cards you considered in that pack. It's very interesting. Can you combine a half blue mana and a half blue mana to pay for one generic mana? Probably. Uh, they did half power and toughness in an unset. I don't think they did. <gasps> Actually, maybe they did do half mana. What is, wait, what is Scarecrow King? Reaper King, what's that guy? No, that guy's not half, so that guy's, that guy's two. That's the opposite. You're right here first, folks. Half is the opposite of two. Okay. Do we need a cut? Do we want to add this skull clamp? Me, no, no. Do we want to keep in survival to like pitch like an Avenger for an Emrakul when we have channel? Me, no, no. Also, I can probably add two islands just because we don't have Rafelos, so we're not super dependent on the number of islands we have. Like, it's not like drawing a second island is going to be a deal breaker. Pest Infestation, good sign, more Plow Under, we don't necessarily... I'd rather play any of these three than a Plow Under. If, I'm not, if I have five mana, I'd just rather play these three. Put in that big toots, check them and see. <laughs> don't even know what that means. Thank you! What? Toot? What toot is there? Thank you. What the fuck is he saying right now? Hugo, thank you for the gifted subs, buddy. Really appreciate it. Tutor? You want worldly tutor? But then it just goes on the top. Isn't survival just a better worldly tutor? I 
It, it definitely felt like a hot blood. <laughs> Big toots, check it and see. <clears throat> but I was like, I don't really, I don't really get it. I don't get it. Um. This feels good. Like, I feel like it's fine. <clears throat> also, we can put Emrakul in with, like, Tooth and Nail as well. So, it's not like it's just dead in our hand. Dude, so here's the thing. Right now, it's, like, 73 outside, which is totally nice. It's really beautiful out. But, when the upstairs is just a little bit warm, the AC comes on, and the, the downstairs is freezing. There's no middle ground. It's upstairs, upstairs warm, downstairs freezing. So I'm always like, let me put a little hoodie on. Let me put a little, little, little jacket on. Cause it's freezing. These houses, no regulation at all. Oh my God. The turn one channel, turn two channel. It's turn two channel. So we're gonna channel into nothing right now, but I'm still gonna cast it even if I have nothing in hand. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do that, but boy, can you imagine? I'm trying, Stuart, I'm trying. Gotta believe in the heart of the cards. Okay, that's still good. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Come on, one time. Emrakul off the top. That wasn't it. It's unfortunate. Oh, mill three cards and put a permanent into your hand. Yeah, let's do that because... <gasps> I'll take it. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. I hope they tap out for something stupid that doesn't affect us in any way, shape, or form. There was also a Karn in there. So within the next three cards, we had two two channel, uh, I want to say targets, but you know, you know, the channel things. Channelers. Oh yeah, get that preordained. Yeah, at least tap all your blue. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah. This is perfect. With a green floating? Exactly what we want. Uh, oh, yeah, totally. Totally fine. Oh, yeah. Just, just, just the way you drew it up, you know? Oh, we can also pay two more and then natural order this guy, so we can literally just do both. All right, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is gonna be, there's a lot of clicks here. And 15, it's your big Eldrazi mama. And then we get to, oh, you're tapped out, huh? So now we are gonna go green, green, one, to get rid of this guy. <laughs> the turn of all turns. Oh, boy. Well, what can we get here that just kills them, I guess? I like a Vorin Clex. Sure, that guy's fun. I'm going to pass the turn. This guy, sure, whatever. I'm going to take my next turn. They're really just playing it out. They're like, you know what? I'm going to make you swing. And I'm like, all right, I'll swing. Okay. <laughs> but I won't give you the pleasure of doing it. Well, that went well. All right. Well, <laughs> good times. Great oldies. Oh, we got channel again. All right. Well, one land here. I'm going to keep it. I think we're going to hit a second land. Any second land gets a Sylvan Library. And we got two turns. Deal. We didn't do it. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Not great, Bob. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. Nailed it. Never didn't have it, you know? And next turn, we can put an Emrakul in our hand with this guy. Huh? And then just cast it off channel. This is this is gonna be magical. Magical the gathering all. Beautiful. They're tapped out. Let's do it. That's not it. Come on. Come on. They're like, okay, okay, let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, biscuits. So close. So we can take the forest. Oh, hmm. Interesting. No, that doesn't do anything. You can see the gears turning. I wonder if it's either it's either Ren and Realm Breaker or it's Spring Bloom Druid. I think it's just Spring Bloom Druid. We can put these two back. Because that actually lets us shuffle and get another beautiful hit. This is so this is so intense. They're really taking their time. Are they double are they double queuing? Is that a thing? Doesn't doesn't say it. They are one one. We're OO, so Uh, I will sacrifice the land. I'll get this one and this one in case Ancestral Recall shows its beautiful face. Okay. They're gonna be like tap it immediately to exile your forest. They didn't they didn't tap it immediately. Oh they they oh they cracked it to draw. What? They're tapped out again? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we have two cards to look at. Whew. I've never felt as much intensity. Why do they take so long to just let me just just hit okay. <laughs> just let me look at my cards. I am pained. Okay. You can't keep getting away with it. Well, <clears throat> put you back. We're definitely keeping this guy. I don't think we're... Oh, we just keep this. Oh, yeah. That's what we're doing. Draw three. Now we have to play the land. Chanelario. Uh, one, two, three. Actually, might as well play the Nissa first, right? That doesn't do anything though. Yeah, it does. It doesn't have a forest. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. One, two, three. Um, I guess we attack here, and then we can just play the rest of the stuff post combat. Or we can play Questing Beast. One, two, and then we'll just play Karn after that. Two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, we just won the game. <laughs> all right, well, channel's a hell of a card. And don't know why you're all sleeping on it, but here we are. So that was good. Look, we splashed the Ancestral. We got our channel twice. <clears throat> I normally hate it when you pick channel, but holy... <laughs> Yeah, well, that's what you get. Remember that time you told me to draw a Merkel and there it was?
There it was, right off the Renan Realm Breaker. More like Renan Emrakrell Breaker, am I right? Probably not, but what can you do? Yeah, I usually pick channel very early, so I have a lot of opportunities to build around it. And if it's late, I'll take it anyway, and then I'll just not use it, so. But, you know, it's channel. It gives you free mana. You ever cast it? Channel Fireball is like the most legendary combo in the game of Magic, you know, so. Correct. Channel is much better when your opponent is tapped out and you have it early. I mean, every spell in Magic is better when your opponent's tapped out, right? Like, that's just, that's, that's, that one's a given. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> this is how we're doing it, I guess. We have, we have a turn to draw Emrakul as well, so. I would prefer that. I don't know. Turn two Karn seems good. Am I right? Don't thought seize me, bro. Oh, they didn't. Oof. Get rid of the Trium on turn two. <sighs> this is painful. Not for us, of course, but, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is one of the more tame plays, I think. That you can make with a channel. But we can get rid of two lands on turn two, right? Like the next two lands you play are just gone. I don't care about this being staged, so I'll actually just plus Karn and get a little more value out of it. Are you aware that it's possible to cast spells without channel? Maybe, but I've never done it. That sounds like fake news to me, buddy. <laughs> That's cute. That is cute. That's good. That's pretty good. I mean, next turn we're just going to acidic slime it and then start carning again. So we miss, we miss a carn turn. Frank, why are you channeling me? You know what you did. I like it when my opponents are friendly and, and, and jovial. That's all you want, you know? Friendly and jovial opponents. Get slimed on. Oh, that's the end. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, that makes me sad. <laughs> I'll be like, okay, I boarded out of channel. I'm not going to board out channel, though. So we did see... <laughs> We did see Phyrexian Revoker, but... Okay, this hand's fine. We need channel point redemption stuff and some betting, buddy. What's a betting, buddy? Is that a friend you take to the casino to make sure you don't... You don't go down the gambler hole? I'll be your betting, buddy. <laughs> I love a gambling hole. <laughs> if I ain't gambling a hole and I ain't living, you know? Turn three Sylvan into channel plus Emerald. That's the, that's the world we're going to live in, yes. It's 
Sylvan Library really helps the channel, you know? It really gets you. Gets your plans moving, you know? <clears throat> Everflowing Chalice. Fascinating. Also, Courser and Library is a fantastic combination. You just set up the land on the top, and then you just play it off the top. It's chef's kiss. Talarian Academy. What a maniac. What is this? Solemn Simulacrum. Guaranteed. Oh, Hangerback Walker. Okay. I apologize. I, I gave my guarantee out to, to willy-nilly. We're halfway there. Living on a prayer. Put on top. Put on top. Okay. I would draw cards, but I want to make sure I have enough mana and life for Emrakul, so... I don't have a way to shuffle right now, unfortunately. Okay, they're doing well. We're just gonna need that one. We just need that one piece, and maybe I do draw one card because it still keeps us. Oh dear! Oh, they're having a time. They are having a time. I can feel it in my bones. That's not my bones are. My bones are incorrect. Okay, so we do have one more turn because they're gonna have to make this next turn. So we're gonna pay four, put this into play. I guess we should have kept this guy. Oh, actually we can discard something during our upkeep in order to get a new look. That seems good. No, it's only as a sorcery. I lied. We can't do that. So I guess we'll just hex drinker here. Oh boy. Well, we get two new cards again. So. Who who has the better combo is the question. I mean, they can also sack everything but Merit Lage. And that's pretty good against us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, when you really have Merit Lage versus Emrakul. Oh, what if we draw Karn, too? Karn actually does a good job of getting rid of this. Okay, Green Sun Zenith, what do you do? I don't think anything. Oh, man. All right, well, we, had to, we gotta work with what we got here. Put you on top, put you on top, play you. Green Sun for one, two, three. I guess we're going for three, sure. Uh, none of these things do anything, so I guess we die. All right. <laughs> Merit Lage is a hell of a card. Uh, I agree. We, we, we channeled the first three games in a row, so, you know, I, you, you can't win forever. I mean, maybe you can, but we couldn't, so that's... I wonder if Sword of Feast and Famine is just good against them. I guess they have a lot of artifact guys. So let's bring in Pest Infestation. Let's take out Fiend Artisan. That guy doesn't impress me very much. <laughs> oh, we can also make this guy like a protection from everything. Oh boy. Oh wow, exciting, exciting. We're living, living the dream folks, living the dream. <laughs> What if we just top deck an Emrakul too? Wouldn't that be great?
Okay, this is perfect. Fiend Artisan do have the looks, but do he got the touch? I don't think. <laughs> oh boy. He don't impress me much. It did come back in. <laughs> Oh, Lordus. Lordus Magordus. Thank you. Carnino. I guess we'll get rid of this. And then we'll actually pump this guy times a million. Let's see. M. Carpenter, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Four, five. So this guy's at six. We're going to do two more. I feel comfortable with that. Hmm. So you still get to play library. I'm gonna run five, it's kinda low. Like But is it low enough? I'm not sure. It's hard to say. Oh wow. Good games. <laughs> I guess I guess turn two Karn six six hex drinker with tricks for everything is good enough. Oh boy. Oh boy, that was uh, another match. That was another match right there. Good lord, man. Married men must support each other. <laughs> oh, that's funny. M. Carpenter. It says mar. It says um watching without audio. Is that true? In the chat, there's an icon next to your name that says watching without audio, but. That doesn't seem correct because it feels like you responded to me and you laughed. So I feel like you're listening with audio. That's weird. Okay. I was actually more more curious if like that's an accurate icon. If it just <laughs> real fans read your lips. <laughs> oh man. Stuart Stuart is actually one of my best real life friends. Why do people not I don't understand why they don't respect channel. If he is, he can't hear you ask. Yes, that's correct. But my answer would come in the form of no answer. I'm not watching without audio, but it doesn't say you're watching without audio. So are you really? Hmm. You know what? Sometimes natural order is just as good. Not always, but sometimes. I personally always stare at your lips. Beautiful. I'm not, I'm not listening only because you ugly. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's just, oh, I like that it does say listening only. Bearded Lotus, thanks for the games, man. Sorry about the channels, though. Looks like you subbed to the wrong channel. Oh, that's absolutely terrible. I'm sorry. So here's why I wrongly don't respect channel. It always looks like the only way you can cast your best card. So I assume you have Emrakul. Well, yeah, that's what you got to kind of build around it though with like tooth and nail and stuff. But also, I mean, it's still a two card combo that just kind of wins the game, you know? Sometimes that's good enough. That's stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> Is our opponent 2-0? Oh, man. Oh, wow. They're just running a Leonin Relic Order with no third land? Sweet. It's your boy.
It's your boy, he's gone. Your boy's gone. Well, we have a lot of lands. <laughs> we just can't keep a creature on the board, it seems, so. Who's at the door? Okay, still no fourth land, which is great. Oh, they do have a fourth land. <sighs> Mormons. Solid Utah reference to a garner. <laughs> oh. What is my avatar? My avatar is... It's the guy from Easy Prey. I like self-deprecating stuff, so. So the card Easy Prey looks like this. And it's got this little guy on it. But it's Easy Prey, you know, like, oh, I'm Easy Prey. Oh, you get to kill me. You know, stuff like that. Let's play this guy. Oh, wait, we're in a natural order. Just kidding. I knew what it was. I was leading into asking what sound it made. But <laughs> wow, I kind of made the sound without you even asking, didn't I? Boy, that's something. I think it's Avenger here. Although I really like Kogla. I think it's Avenger. And we still haven't played a land this turn, so... Uh, always yes and always yield. Look at my beautiful plants. If they want to path this guy, that's okay. Because I'll get my plants. Who wins in a fight? Fibblethip or Easy Prey? Or are they betting buddies? Let's <laughs> see what you did there. <laughs> that's a solid throwback. You see, because we were talking about betting buddies earlier. And then someone said it sounded like betting buddies. And so he asked if they were betting buddies. It's good. It's a good meme. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, we're one land short. We only have six. If we get a seventh land, though, I might just cast it just to put Woodfall Primus into play. And then we just get to kill Gideon. Is it difficult to get into the controls and key? No, not really. I literally just use the mouse. And there's like one key I use. Six, the, 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 the number six actually skips through the turn if you have nothing to do. So you don't have to like reply to everything they do. Oh, they're swords in against that. That's, that's worse, but okay. Channel does let us cast it entwined. That is fascinating. See, I don't think I have the luxury of waiting for two more mana here. Yeah, and then five cancels um, the pass through your turn. So, like, if you have to, if you if you need to respond to something for some reason, you can just hit the number five, and it'll cancel that. As you can see from my chat identity, I'm listening only. That would not show up if it wasn't true. Can you please give me a play-by-play -play of the next turn cycle? <sighs> Woodfall Primus killing this seems important because they have... They're just going to make an emblem, I assume. I don't love it, and I wish I had another creature, but... This feels important, so... Yes, this does have ward. So I'm not going to kill that unless we have more mana. <laughs> yeah, make this stream ADA compliant. That's a good idea. I'm a big fan of the American Dental Association as well, so.
That was a little ADA humor. Yeah, but getting our questing beast back would have also killed Gideon because none of these guys can block it. Which would have been great, but Ward 3. The American Dodgeball Association of America. That would, wouldn't that be the ADAA? This is all very confusing. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Ah, oh, yes, the ADAOA. Who hasn't heard of that? Oh, yeah, I'll take two. Sounds good. That's a fine deal. <laughs> yeah, Edo, wow. <laughs> That's... No one pronounces it like that. Have you been playing Standard at all? No. But I'm gonna make... I was gonna make a video about Standard. What are you blinking here? Nothing? Sounds good. A lot of things are happening right now. That is true. There are a lot of floaters here. <sighs> Hey, that's pretty good. Well, that's nice. Because then we can also attack and kill this. Oh, and this. Oh, we're killing everything. That was a great draw. Wow. Get in there, little woody boy. What is good? Listening only. Uh, we drew a Kogla. The Titan Ape. And then we used it. Uh, it has an enter the battlefield ability that says it fights up to one target creature. Uh, so we used that ability to fight their 3-3 three, three Guardian of Giraper, which had flying. I'm gonna be honest, Fiend Artisan is not impressing me much. I do like pest infestation though. <sighs> Come on, channel. Don't do me dirty. Our deck is doing very well so far. Okay, no channel, but Sylvan Library. And drag a tree speaker into Sylvan Library. That's hot. Oh, I see. You're just gonna do one of these jobbies. Hero Blade, hold turn one. Lodestone Golem. Well, that's intriguing. I think that'll probably kill us. <laughs> no, don't like that. Well, on the bright side, we can draw ch channel next turn and cast it. Turn one Lodestone's pretty good. Are they going to Swords this guy? That seems ambitious. Might just wait till I activate it or something, right? Frontier answered. What? Oh, look, they did Sword. I mean, I don't, I don't see any reason for that. Like, I have to spend two more mana for that creature to do anything. I guess if they're just trying to, like, kill me as fast as possible, I understand, but... Hmm. Well, we're gonna go to the next game. Yep, turn one Lodestone Golem. Pretty hard to deal with. Is Frontier your internet service provider? Is it a magic format? Okay, well. Here we are again, old friend. <laughs> Come on. What's on the top of the deck? This hand is actually pretty terrible if we don't hit something to play or to channel into, so... 
it's what's known as it's what's known as a gamble. <laughs> this is this is one of the worst great hands I've ever seen. Hmm. They mold to six. Gamble isn't in the cube. Wonderful. Yeah, I mean, we don't actually have to do it turn two, so we just have to survive, you know? Or we top deck an Emrakul. Or we wait because we don't even want to get mana tied, you know? So, big brain plays. <sighs> Hmm. Well, let's run this out there. Actually, let's channel here. Okie dokie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Don't put my channel away. Mana tithe. You got it, champ. Let's get rid of one of these guys. Oh, we just win the game. We just win the game. <laughs> and that's how you trophy, apparently. Thank you guys for watching. I'm not leaving, so don't, don't leave on Twitch, but if you're watching on YouTube, I am leaving. Thank you for watching, really appreciate it. Slam the buttons, the like button, the subscribe button, whatever you want to subscribe, whatever you want to slam, slam it all. And, uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.